Obviously, we're all interested in halal investing. Question arises, what can I as an average person do to make sure that my investments are halal? Frankly speaking, there's only two practical things that you can do. Number one, either you become an expert yourself and you then learn the fiqh and the sharia ah behind halal investing and then you go and individually research each and every company and research not only whether that company is halal or not but also whether it is viable whether it is uh, wise judicious to invest in that company uh, what is going to be the roi of this company what is the prediction of the stock of this company etc etc and me and you we both know in order to do that, you need to specialize not only in the Islamic side, but also in the modern finance side. But you know what? Some people do that good for them. If they can do that, alhamdulillah, that's fine. But me and you, the average people out there who have a little bit of wealth, we want to invest in a halal manner. I don't have the time to become a specialist in all of the stocks out there, all of the companies out there. That's not my area of expertise. And for many of us, Islamic finance as well is not our area of expertise. It requires years and years of study. It requires a complete knowledge and grasp, not only of classical fiqh, not only of what is called the science of buyur, or what is the fiqh of buying and selling, but also modern finance. And to be very, very frank, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not easy to find a person who has specialized both in classical Islamic law and in modern finance. That is a rare combination. And I speak as somebody who has specialized in classical Islam and classical Islamic law. It's very rare to find somebody who has both of those, the knowledge of the classical tradition and the knowledge of modern finance. So the other alternative then is that you go to companies that already have boards of people, specialists in the Islamic side, in the finance side, in the investing side, and they've all come together and they're working as a team. And that is where groups like Wahid Invest are so appropriate for the average Muslim out there. That there are companies like our this company here right now, that they have the people who are knowledgeable, they know the Islamic side of things, they have Sharia compliant boards, they have the ethics boards as well, and of course they also have the expertise in the finance side, in the investment side, and all of these teams come together and they work as a syncretic harmonious whole, each one is helping the other out, and that is frankly the, the easiest, the wisest, and the most simple thing that the average Muslim should do is to go to those companies whom they can trust and alhamdulillah the Sharia boards are open, who is sitting on the board, the ethics boards are open, the finance boards are open, see there who is sitting on those boards and if you feel that you trust uh, the people there then this is the most logical step to do is to then uh, trust these companies out there and then after that put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.